You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. You can say I lay So we spent the Labor Day weekend near Maryville, Tennessee. We had some properties to look at around Cosby, Tennessee, Sevierville, Tennessee, and a few other areas up here. We didn't really find um, any property per se that was super exciting or very exciting at all, actually. Um, but we did find this Pumpkin Center Motorcycle Resort. It was pretty much the last place or one of the places Chris has found with a spot open for Labor Day weekend. So let's talk about Pumpkin Center. Um, I don't want you to get your expectations up when the word resort. Think more about the motorcycle part. <laughs> so um, it's, it's more what you would call maybe if you were watching a show like Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives. It's kind of that dive RV resort um, that has fantastic potential. Uh, it's, it's really a diamond in the rough. The new owners uh, just bought it in November. Um, I'm not sure what work they had ahead of them, but they've got a lot more work um, probably ahead of them to make it to make it resortish, more resortish than it is um, just RV parkish, I guess. Uh, and more like um, dive bar with an RV park and um, a, kind of a motorcycle venue here. It sits right on 129, which is just about 10, 15 minutes north of the north end of the Tail of the Dragon on 129. So it's awesome. There's also some other rides there, so you can see my hat. We did the Tennessee part of the Cherahala Skyway. Uh, we didn't have enough time to go because of the leaving the dogs behind, so we didn't go the entire distance of the Cherahala Highway. Uh, but that's probably the best aspect, and as it's called a motorcycle resort, as it's called a motorcycle resort, um, there were lots of motorcycles here. So pretty much everybody that stays here, or most of the people that stay here, are going to be motorcycle riders that are riding the Tail of the Dragon, or some other beautiful rides on these back back roads around Maryville, Tennessee. Um, so we got a spot. I think it was only twenty-five, thirty dollars a night. It's not full hookups. It's electric and uh, water. Um, the spot we were in had 50 and 30, but the 50 amp didn't work, so we used a 30 amp, which worked fine. Um, the water worked fine. They do have a bathhouse that we didn't use that's up in the in the restaurant. Um, really, the cool key cool amenity here, besides the local surroundings and the riding, is some free music that they had on the weekend. I'm, I'm not sure if they do it only on holiday weekends or if they do it every weekend, but they've got a nice stage venue there, and they've got an outside uh, bar uh, and smoker area where they do some barbecue. And I will say this, the food was fantastic. So we only ate one time, but I had a burger and homemade fries, and they were truly, you cut the, cut the potatoes up, fry them and to your plate so I mean they were fantastic no freezing of the fries or anything like that totally fresh cut fries burger was well seasoned and delicious um, Chris got the wings and she said the wings were fantastic as well you know you got the ribs and they were falling off and a bunch of meat too okay and Chris is saying that uh, Neilia our friends came up and rode with us Neil you got the ribs and they were falling off the bone and they were delicious so you know, if you're going to come here, live music, you know, hanging out with other bikers, 85% um, of the people were really, really friendly. I mean, of course, you get some of that tough guy biker attitude where they don't say hi, that type of stuff. But for the most part, it was it was a lot more friendly than our recent visit to um, 
hit the park that was having the AKC dog show. So the people here was much more friendly. The, the music does go late at night. So if you're coming here to sleep, uh, if you want to sleep in late, no problem. It's silent during the mornings. But there is music and outside kind of noises and partying and so on and so forth until it was close to midnight both nights or all nights, wasn't it, dear? Yeah, so, you know, probably close to midnight, maybe even a little later for some of the people staying up, but um, good music. It's very small. They do have some cabins. There's some newer cabins to the right of the bar, older cabins to the left of the bar. Um, I would not stay in the older cabins based on the experience that Don and Nelia had. They said that it smelled a little bit musty and needs to be cleaned up, but the new owners might do something about that. I don't know. Uh, the new cabins look a lot better on the right side, uh, but we have no experience in staying in those. The spots, we're in a fairly large rig, 40 foot, and uh, it's a little bit difficult. It's just a real tight little circle. Um, you probably saw some, some of the videos, and uh, you know we all worked it out. Everybody was able to get in, but it is tight quarters, so you're going to want to unload and uncook, unhook everything before you back in. Uh, they did have a nice walking trail um, that we didn't take. We started to take it, but we didn't have bug spray, and it, it's got kind of uh, limbs growing um, into it and some weeds and stuff like that. So it's a good trail um, just off to the side of the creek. Um, the, the other observations that we had is just, just really some things are in disrepair. Uh, there's a nice fountain water feature at the entry uh, that's not working. Uh, obviously, it's probably going to take decent money and time to clean up, but it would be really a nice water feature coming in uh, if that's completed and then really just general um, keeping of the grounds and cleaning up of trash so there was a couple of things there on uh, you know just set your expectations so there's some trash laying around near some of the spots and the trash cans were overflowing a couple of days of the weekend so um, you know if they had some dumpsters or a little bit uh, better practices of cleaning up the trash it would probably make the uh, place look a little bit better but again it's a diamond in the rough it's right here on this um, 129 it's got a creek running along the front side of it 